See, I know enough French to confuse and upset people. <laughs> and it's very enjoyable. I was upset recently, I was very upset. I heard a song and it made me angry because it's extremely irresponsible and unethical. And that is Kenny Loggins' Highway to the Danger Zone. Oh sure, it's a favorite song of many people here in the audience tonight. But I'll tell you what, if you have got a danger zone and you're aware that it is dangerous, the most irresponsible thing you can do is build a highway to that danger zone. <laughs> do not facilitate movement to the danger zone. You will get people in there and there will be danger. Obviously it is dangerous in the danger zone. When you arrive at the danger zone, there's a small toll booth and a man in it who stabs you in the face. This is what happens in the danger zone. Don't bring the kids to the danger zone. Sure, there's a playground, but it consists of one very tall, frozen metal pole. And the children tongue, tongue, tongue it. What can you do? Then they go sliding down the long, rusty pole onto the knife. That's the kind of things in the playground of the danger zone. They get tetanus, but there's nowhere to get a tetanus shot in the danger zone. There's no clinic in the danger zone, so they're walking around with lockjaw all the time. They can't even eat. Oh, you want to buy some furniture in the danger zone? Go to the Ikea. Of course they have one. But all of the flat packed furniture is stacked like Jenga. And you have to reach in and pull out your La Quaca coffee table and it falls on you, the whole stack. And then you're like, where are the children? I've been crushed. Oh, they're in the ballroom. But the ballroom doesn't have balls in the danger zone. It has triangles. The children are thrashing through, stabbing themselves. And each one has been played with and licked by another child who has Ebola. <laughs> I like to watch the news because of the news crawls that go along the bottom that don't really tell you the whole story. They give you a story, but leaving it confusingly am ambiguous. What's going on? But I saw this actual story on a news crawl, and it went like this. Seven members of Chinese family drown attempting to rescue teen girl from reservoir. Seven members of Chinese family drown attempting to rescue teen girl from reservoir. I don't know about you and your bodies of water knowledge, but a reservoir, to me, is an extremely benign body of water. There are no tsunamis or tidal waves. It is merely a cup in the earth to hold water you're not using right now. It's very placid, but this girl has gotten herself in trouble. In this reservoir, cette reservoir dangereuse. And so the Chinese family happens onto the scene. An enormous Chinese family. And they say, oh no, look over there, that girl is in difficulty. Quickly, Keith. I don't know Chinese names. I'm just going to use other names because I don't know enough Chinese names. Keith, quickly, get in there, save that girl. All right, do I can't swim? Splash, drown. Oh, darn it. Darren, quickly. Jump in there! Can you swim? Yes, I'm an excellent swimmer. Oh, but I had a huge meal half an hour ago. No! No! Drowns. Grandma, you were at the Olympics in 1960. Yes, I was. Get in there, save her. I was in the shot put. Drowns. <laughs> this happens four more times. Four more times. Until finally, someone, I assume there's someone left in the family, decides this is a situation of diminishing returns. <laughs> is this girl's life worth all of the lives of everyone I've ever known my whole life? No. Let's go home. 
But I believe the girl survived by pushing the bodies of the dead together, <laughs> forming a raft, and kicking her way to safety. <laughs> Merci beaucoup for that. Oh my. Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine, very obscure and weird. I've heard that they use uh, bits of animals' bodies to solve medical problems. The one that gets me, though, the most is a uh, tiger penis is a natural Viagra. Tiger penis, natural Viagra. Who discovered this? <laughs> I mean, you have to get a tiger's penis in your mouth. This is bizarre. But I imagine it was a man who was having erectile dysfunction. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh, I have no erections, ever. I'm going into the jungle to think about it. <laughs> Off he goes. And he's wandering, and a tiger leaps out! And he goes, ah! And the tiger, ah! Penis in the mouth. Ah! 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 <laughs> he is still mauled to death. But his friends find him. <laughs> Later on. They say, oh, poor Gary. Mauled by a tiger, but look at the rod on this guy. 